The Wheeling Plan Commission meeting for Thursday, July 13th, 2017 is called to order. Please stand for the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. <coughs> Mr. Secretary, the roll call, please. Commissioner Bonova. Here. Commissioner Creech. Present. Commissioner Dorbian. I'm here. Commissioner Johnson. Here. Commissioner Kalis. Here. Commissioner Powers is here. And Chairman Rafato. Here. Uh, Brooke, any changes to the agenda? No changes. First off, Joe, welcome. Thank you. Welcome. Our newest member. Says the concerns and comments. No. Consent items, none. Items for review. Docket number 2017-8, target. 1400 Lake Cook Road special use site plan approval to establish packaged liquor sales. Mr. Secretary. 2017-8 target tenant is seeking special use site plan approval as required under Title 19 zoning of the Wheeling Municipal Code Chapter 19-06 commercial districts Chapter 19-10 use regulations Chapter 19-12 site plan approval requirements and associated sections in order to establish packaged liquor sales at an existing retail store at 1400 Lake Cook, Co Lake Cook Road, Wheeling, Illinois. Standards for a special use. And zoning special use as defined in Title 19 of the Village of Wheeling Zoning is a use of parcel of land that requires review and consideration before approval due to circumstances or effects on the surrounding properties that may adversely affect them. In order to be considered for a special use, the petitioner is required to demonstrate through testimony to the plan commission at the public hearing why the request meets the conditions of the village code, including but not limited to how the proposed use will not damage the enjoyment or use of the surrounding properties. Prior to the public hearing, the petitioner provides written statements meant to show that their request for a special use meets the standards established in Title 19. The commission chairperson will typically direct that these statements be entered into the record without a full reading of them at the hearing. Based upon the testimony and supporting <laughs> materials submitted, the plan commission will make findings in support of or against the petitioner's testimony and report those findings to the village board. Mr. Chairman. Thank you. Brooke, any that? My only statement is that the staff report and submittals of the petitioner are part of the public record. Great. Thank you. Are the petitioners here? Please come forward to the dais. Up, this one right there with the nice microphone in front of it. Who will be speaking? Will both of you be speaking? Uh, it'll be me. Okay. I, well, actually, if you could both raise your right hands. You swear the testimony you give tonight to be the truth. Yes. Thank you. So if you could both give your names and business address into the microphone, that would be great. Thank you. Abraham Vaisaki, uh and business address, like where Target's located or my position? at? Either one. Okay. I'm the one of the assistant managers and head of loss prevention. Okay. Could you spell your last name? Vaisaki, V as in Victor, Y-S-O-C-K-Y. Thank you. And Stephanie Tierholt. Um, I am the general manager of store team leader at the location I'm at Wheeling. And do you want my spelling of my name too? Sure. Um, first and last? Just last. It's fine. T-I-E-R-H-O-L-D. Right. The only reason why is we normally have a recording secretary here, and it's helpful when she's going to be trans. Trans, whatever you do, not transpose, whatever you do. Transcribe. 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 <laughs> no, transpose. So anyway, so the floor is yours to, to describe what you're asking for. Great. Um, so overall, like as the proposal mentions, we're just asking to, to add just a, a separate um, area for, for alcohol that's in, within the store. So um, Target's potential alcohol offering uh, and Wheeling is part of our ongoing efforts to deliver a convenient one-stop shopping experience for all of our guests, as we already have groceries and general merchandise there. Uh, special use would allow us to complement the assortment of grocery and general merchandise items. Our nearby stores in Palatine and Arlington Heights carry alcohol, and our guests have come to expect the ability to buy beer, wine, and spirits as part of the, the Target run. Anything else? No, um, it won't alter the character of the surrounding area. I, it will be in the building, so there's nothing that will change on the outside uh, of the building. So I don't believe that there's anything else that we'd like to 
Great, thanks. Thank you very much. This is a public hearing. Is there anyone in the audience that wishes to speak? <coughs> okay. Thank you. We'll go to the commissioners now. Commissioner Johnson. Thank you. Um, I really have no problems with this. Just out of curiosity, though, what gets replaced when you're putting in all this liquor? What's going away? Um, nothing is going away. There's just a little bit of condensing. If you could speak into the microphone. I'm sorry. That's our um, vast audience at home. <laughs> There is nothing going away from our store. We're just moving sections around. So we have juice in a different area, but there's still going to be a full selection of natural juices and um, health food as long as this, as well as this in addition. Okay. So Thank nothing you. is going away. Thank you. Commissioner Bonova. I also have no questions and no problem with it. Thank you. Commissioner Powers. Uh, you answered the question I had, you know, what other stores had it, so I have nothing else. Okay. Commissioner Dorban. I just have one question. Would you be um, offering small individual bottles or just the full package? I believe our selection would be the full packages, so we will have beer and wine. I do believe individual, the small bottles of wine would be associated in the assortment that we would be carrying or asking to carry. Okay. Thank you. Anything else? Mr. No, no? Okay. Mr. Creech. <clears throat> uh, thank you, Mr. Chairman. Uh, the only question I have is, uh, is any of the alcohol, beer, wine going to be refrigerated? We will have a refrigerated section of beer um, on the back wall of our freezer section, or cooler section. We will have chilled. So you are you considering dedicating two two aisles to your the alcohol at the store? Two, I yeah it will be two yes it would be two doors of chilled beer. No, I mean I, I mean uh, aisles I'm of. Oh no, it will full be, aisles. It will just be one full aisle. One full aisle, one section of the cooler. Correct. Ice, of course. Yes. That's all I have. Thank you. Okay. Commissioner Kalis. Thank you. Um, is there a particular reason there hasn't been liquor here until now? It's been 15 years, right? Is there just, um, know? I don't believe when the store opened, they petitioned for it. I, I don't at that, with my, within my knowledge, I've been the store manager there for four years. I, I, I right. don't know their original reasoning as to why. Because okay. all the other ones have them and that's. Yes. So, okay, well, <laughs> yeah. that's it. So, um, you just mentioned, uh, Commissioner Creech mentioned, asked how many aisles, and you said one aisle, but I'm looking at this drawing that's up there now, mm -hmm. and it looks like there's one, two, three, four aisles. It magically disappeared. So do you consider that just one aisle? So there is one aisle. It is the movement of the aisles, I believe, is what they're trying to show you on that planogram there, plus the back wall, which yep. is the chilled liquor section. So I guess it would be two aisles if you want to consider that chilled liquor section, but there, there won't be more than one aisle for liquor. Hmm. So I don't know why that's looking like It, it like just that. looks, it's look, <laughs> it looks like, yeah. So the area that's not shaded just to the top of that, right. how many aisles am I looking at there? So you're looking at one, you're looking at five aisles. Five aisles. So the shaded area, I'm only looking at one aisle there? No, you're looking at five aisles. The f aisle that will be liquor will be the one farthest in my version back. It'll be the aisle, the last aisle so will be liquor. So that whole shaded area is not liquor? No. Oh. Oh. Not on our planogram that I received. Okay, so we need to change that. Right. I can get that to you. Well, we, we, or, will, we will okay. put a condition in that indicates that the, um, what is that? So above the, above the, above the word approximate, is that a letter there? F. Yeah, F. F. So everything to the north of F is a liquor area, is that what it is? That is the planogram that I received that we're, that we were proposing. So I think what they were talking about is F is our grocery section in, 
our aisle of F is our grocery section in our store, and I believe they said this would be within the area we would have our one aisle of liquor. Is <coughs> when I am reading that planogram what I'm assuming they meant? Yes. Oh, okay. That no, I was looking at Ms. Jones. Um, I don't know how we would put that into a, um, or is it a concern of ours? What, what's the total square footage that we're looking at here for liquor? Uh, you know, beer, wine, and spirits. Do you know? I wouldn't know the square footage of an aisle. I can, I, I wouldn't know the exact square footage of it, but I can get you that information. Is that, uh, are we, we're just approving a liquor special use, right? Which includes the floor plan. Which includes the floor plan. Mm -hmm. So what if we indicated that on this drawing, everything to the top of F, because you have, um, maybe I heard, let me look here, let me look at the. Uh, well, if you zoom in, that section is the snack candy section. So is that what this highlight is the whole snack candy section and then one aisle of that? Correct. It's going to be liquor, I guess. Correct. So I, what they are indicating, I believe, in that triangle is this is where they would like to put the liquor section within these, in one of these aisles. But but not specific. But not specifically that aisle. So this would be the range in the store it, it, we would like to put it in. So if that is approved. Okay, what if we so what if we just limit it to one aisle within that shaded section? I think that would be appropriate. And, and the refrigerated section. And the refrigerated section. And the refrigerated section. Where is the refrigerated section? You you did say there was something against the rear wall or something. It's oh. it's on the rear wall. Okay. That's refrigerated. Limited to. And then, um, so your, uh, your liquor, you know, um, gin, vodka, bourbon, whatever, are they going to have special um, uh, devices, security devices on the, on the, uh, on the bottles so somebody can't walk out with them? Yeah, so we've already received uh, some merchandise protection for the bottles already. Um, so they'll get merchandise like toppers uh, on it as well. We'll have them in a, a section that's under surveillance too. Also, um, it's, I think it's at Walgreens when we approved them, we asked for, did we ask for a, um, a siren or something to go off on the coolers yeah on the coolers I think there is an alarm of just some kind of type of an alert a type of an alert that somebody is opening uh, if it's under camera we could have like a, a bookmark set to whenever there's movement on the cooler <laughs> Um, and then that way we, we'd be able to see whenever okay. someone takes it out. You might get asked that question when you go for your liquor license. Okay. Yeah. So you might want to consider something I'll look at more security stores. on that. Uh -huh. okay. I know Gurney just got uh, their liquor license. So I'll see what the one underwater doing. or the one. <laughs> <laughs> no. um, okay. That's, uh, I, th I think you might, might want to be a little bit more proactive in that area, especially with opening up the that. Now, granted, you've got a much bigger store uh, than a Walgreens is, but you might want to consider that. Also, um, <clears throat> staff asked one last question about um, promotional or seasonal liquor display areas. Will you have anything like that? Um, yes, so we, Upon approval, we, if we need to follow village code and contact if we wanted to put up a display elsewhere, um, we'd be more than happy to comply with that, but we'll stick to the aisle in the chilled section. How do we handle that, Brooke? Uh, do you have a specific location where that would be at this time? 
No, so we're just no. looking for the aisle in the back wall right now, and we would comply with any laws or regulations that we would need to if we wanted to in the future do that. But as of right now, I, I would just say the aisle in the back wall is what we are looking for. Well, right now, if this is approved, <coughs> you would be limited to the to one aisle and the one cooler oh. area. So if you would like to have the opportunity to expand that for special promotions or seasonal sales, right. I would suggest you make that request now. Then yes, we would. Okay. Thank you. Good suggestion. <laughs> Thank you. I don't know how we could limit promotional I mean seasonal is obvious you know uh, my birthday and uh, <laughs> that's it uh, but promotional would be tough I guess I mean whether you want to limit like as to the size that they can use or it has to be in the front or well, I have a question kind of tied to the liquor license. Are they, and I always ask it, are, are they, depending on the license they have, are they li limited to the amount of um, linear feet that they can have to, or they can put as much liquor as they want in that space? Or I know we're limiting it, but. I mean, we're limiting it, and the floor plan, the special use limits it. If you could talk into the Oh, sorry. I mean, it depends. Depends. Uh, I'd have to look at the specifically what the classification. That I don't know what classification they're specifically going for under the code, and that does base on square footage. So that's under their liquor license, and I don't know that off the top of my head because I don't okay. know what they've applied for. Okay. But the floor plan here is what is limit their special use and is putting conditions on how much they can um, use for liquor sales. So they can. And we're limiting that target. right now to one aisle within that shaded area. Um, Location is would be tough that it's uh, I mean you don't have to put limits on it. You could just say that they're allowed to do promotion. Yeah, I, I think if we go down that path That question might occur would that would that question come up when they're when they're looking at their uh, When they're requesting a liquor license it could come up then yeah, and it could also the board if the board wants additional limitations on it, can add it right. as, okay. or amend that So condition. we will, I think we'll leave it open right now, and okay. if need be amended, it will be at that time. So can I ask that the, that this be clean, cleaned up before I go to the Liquor Control Commission to show, you know, the, the one aisle, what that's going to well, be? How it's they gonna don't be. know. We're, we're letting them one aisle within that shaded area, which is because of their planning, and I can, I can give them that leeway, it's one aisle. Um, I don't, does anybody have a problem? Uh, Commissioner Johnson, do you have a problem with the way the condition is right now? No. Commissioner Blanova? No, I don't. Commissioner Powers? No, I'm fine. Commissioner Darban? Um, can you read to me how you have it written, please? Okay. The third condition that we're talking about right now, additional seasonal or promotional liquor displays shall be allowed. I'm sorry, the second one then. What's the second one? Uh, let me start over. We'll yeah. start number one. The area of liquor display shall be limited to one aisle and one cooler section, both within the highlighted area of the floor plan. Two. Consider additional security measures for the liquor areas. And three, additional seasonal or promotional liquor displays shall be allowed. The third, the only one, I have a question about the third condition is it doesn't give a area. I mean, do we want to say an additional aisle? I mean, how do we want to be specific? Excuse me, specific on that. Not in the kids' toy section. <laughs> so, <laughs> so <laughs> you know, I, and I, 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 so do we, I, I know where you're going, but when I think of promotional, 
I think of something that's out in the open and in front. Yeah. So, so for instance, you've got end caps. Mm -hmm. Will you have liquor in the end caps at all times? Um, it there would be the potential to have it on an end cap within the liquor within that one aisle that you have. Uh, that was my logical thing. I guess thing. what I'm saying is right. that it should state within the liquor area rather than, I mean, it, because now it reads right. as though it could well, be in I think front the, of the store by the cash register. Well, I think that's the idea for seasonal and promotional would be to expand, because otherwise you just put the seasonal and promotional items within the aisle and they wouldn't need it as an additional condition. Right. So the idea of allowing seasonal and promotional items is to I, place it either within the seasonal section, like seasonal, if it's Christmas, you put it with like the chocolates and the stocking stuffers. Um, if it's promotional, put it near the front um, checkout lanes. And I guess it's whether we want to allow that or not. Do you have any idea be what's done at the, the aisle other that's allowed? I'm sorry? Do you have any idea what's done at the other locations? Like yeah. Valentine and Arlington Nights, how do they? Uh, yes, they so done? their promotional displays would stay primarily by the grocery section or by the check lanes as we see seasonally appropriate. So okay. um, it would never be by so, kids' toys or uh, we would stay away from And, and so what are we doing at Walmart? Well, I think yeah. Walmart is a little out of control, but. Um, they fill their aisles too. <laughs> right, Target so I think to your point, Commissioner Dorban, that we limit it to the grocery area and or the checkout area. Fine. That's a good point, thank you. Are you okay with that? Yes. Um, I do have a question. When you're talking about the front checkout area, does that include front just at the lanes, at the check lanes, or front of store? Because we do have a promotional area right as you walk into our store. Right, right in the store. Right. Um, would it be the front of store area or well, would it? Well, whatever where are you think okay. putting it, I guess, is my question. Front of store for me would mean the front promotional area the promotional right as you walk area in you the check lanes. Already. Correct. But it wouldn't go nowhere near areas that, like kids' I'm okay. toys or. <laughs> is everyone okay with that? I'll just do a nod. Yeah. Okay. Yes. Okay. Yes. So if it states additional seasonal or promotional liquor displays shall be allowed in the grocery front of store and checkout areas, is that adequate? Yes. Okay. Thank you. Mr. Chairman? Yes. Uh, one question on the, uh, I forget if it was the first or second condition, where it read one cooler section. I believe they were looking for two cooler sections. Two coolers or like, one, what do you consider? Or one cooler with two doors, multiple doors, how does that work? So I, our I'm just concerned at how it's worded that right. we're tying their hands there. Okay. Yeah, so our cooler door sections are set up in sections of five doors. So one cooler is associated with five, five opening doors. Okay, so right. one, one section would be enough? Yes. Okay. 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 Thank you. So if you could read the conditions. Okay. Number one, the area of liquor display shall be limited to one aisle and one cooler section, both within the highlighted area of the floor plan. Two, consider additional security measures for the liquor areas. And three, additional seasonal or promotional liquor displays shall be allowed in the grocery, front of store, and checkout areas. I hate to be a nitpick on this, but I also want to protect them on this because it says one cooler section but it's five doors should we make sure that that's clear so nobody questions how big a free a cooler section well is? i think the minutes would note the difference and i think we could always look back I, at our meeting just, minutes okay so just, now it's on the record i just don't want somebody coming in and saying okay this one door sure. they consider a section so when it's actually there, five doors again on the record there are five okay. doors within okay. a cooler section okay cool do i hear a motion so moved second motion by commissioner dorban second by commissioner johnson with the already read conditions mr secretary Commissioner Dorman? Yes. Commissioner Johnson? Yes. Commissioner Bonova? Yes. Commissioner Creech? Yes. Commissioner Kalis? Yes. 
Mr. Powers votes yes. Chairman Rafato. Yes. So moved. Uh, motion to close. So moved. Second. All those in favor? Aye. Aye. You'll have one thing to sign. Actually, duplicates. When do they come before the mm. liquor commission? August 4th. August 4th. Oh, August 7th, sorry. August 7th. If one of you can come up here. Have you guys here. already submitted your liquor application? Okay. <laughs> if you could just sign where it says petitioner. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Oh, wait. What <coughs> is you get to keep that. Thank you. Thank you very much. Um, You're done. Thank, Thank you. you. Thank and, you. Have and, a good night. And you don't even have to stay. <laughs> um, approval of minutes, June 22nd, 2017. I have a couple questions. Surely. On the roll call, um, Commissioner Kalis was not listed. Should he be yeah. under roll call? Yes, he okay. should have been listed as okay. absent. And also, in um, under the first motion, uh, Commissioner Johnson is listed as absent, but Commissioner Kalis is not listed. Okay. I mean, uh, he because he is, he is everywhere else. That's why the only reason I oh. brought it up. Okay. Oh, yeah. okay. That's all. Yes. Yep. I'll move to approve with uh, as amended. I'll second. All those in favor? Aye. 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 Thank you. Other business? Brooke? I have nothing. Okay. Um, I'll, I'll start off. I just wanted to again welcome Joe Kalis to the uh, Plan Commission. Thank you for volunteering your time. Um, I hope everyone got an invitation to the groundbreaking next Wednesday, 11.30 to 2.30. Joe, if you haven't gotten one. I got it, I'm out of town though. Great, thank you. Okay, uh, 11.30, it's right here for our Wheeling Town Center. And um, just as an aside, Brooke, so uh, on, on this target one, the photo of existing conditions, you know, the outside of the target store, I'm not certain in this case that's good for existing conditions unless we were doing something outside. I don't even, I, I don't know if that's relevant to what we were trying to do. Something more relevant would have, and I don't even know if you can do that as a picture inside as to what the existing conditions were. Just as I sort of thought, thought it was interesting that we'd get a existing conditions, but we're not doing anything with it, if you get my. Sure. Yeah. I don't know how you could go around that. It might be just an orientation of right. what we're talking about. It just about. gives you familiarity with the property. Mm -hmm. um, we, I, mean, I, I don't, know don't if you have to provide a photograph that would yeah. save me a step and not going out there. Yeah. yeah. Uh, <laughs> if you don't in, mind. In this, ca in this case, uh, I, I'm not certain what value, and especially if you had to go out there and take a picture of it, then, then no. I mean, if we're doing something to the outside, this is definitely relevant. Okay. So, yeah, definitely. Would there usually be a picture of the section? Because that's what yeah, we're talking that, about. Yeah, that's where I was going. Uh, I don't know if you can do that. We, <coughs> to date, have but never not, gone inside and taken photographs. Yeah. We've yeah. always just stayed on okay. the outside, outside of the yeah. and I don't, property. In this, in this case, I don't think you need one. So, anyway. Okay. Commissioner Johnson. Um, I don't think I have anything. If anybody hasn't been by the... Uh, that spec building on Northgate, they've done a lot of work on that. The walls are all up. Very impressive. At Lake things. Cook? And yeah. yeah. Yeah, they go up quickly. Yeah, that's all. No Commissioner Blanova. You've got to speak a little louder. I have nothing, thank you. Even louder than that. <laughs> I didn't do that. 
Commissioner Powers. I have nothing. Commissioner Dorban. Uh, just that the Wheeling Prospect Heights Chamber of Commerce and Industries uh, golf outing is next Thursday. If anybody is interested in golfing, please call the office at 847-541-0170, and we'd love to have you. Thank you. Commissioner Kalis. Uh, thank you for having me. It's fun to be here and learn. And uh, it's exciting driving around town now that I get to look around and see like I, I know more about what's going on and it's just exciting to be part of the community and, and see the vision of everything that we're talking about here. So I'm seeing Wheeling with a fresh set of eyes and that's pretty exciting stuff. So Great. appreciate Good. you having me. Thank you. Thank you. Mr. Creech. I have nothing tonight. Thank you. Thank you. Mallory. Nothing. Great. Fair motion to adjourn. So moved. Second. All those in favor? Aye. Aye.